no, I'm actually freaked out. Like you can't make this stuff up. Right when we hit record, someone just tried to burglarize and like break into our house. Dude, it was so violent the way that they tried to break in. Do they not think we were home? It was insane. My, like my heart skipped, I think eight beats. It sounded like they were trying to take a battering ram to our door. And that's um, what you guys believed was happening right before we started the podcast. <laughs> Someone just simply knocked on the door. No, it was not oh, simply no. a knock. When Zach is speaking, we wait. Uh, someone simply w- knocked on the door and these two simpletons, is that okay to say? <laughs> so fuck you. They, you guys both get wide-eyed. I, I'm sitting there like, okay, somebody knocked on the door and you guys are like, <laughs> and no. then you guys both rush up to your, to your hind legs and Alyssa screams get the knife <laughs> i'm like it's broad daylight no one's coming also you knew people were coming to pick up uh the equipment from the party yesterday the issue was how they didn't just knock on the door they banged on the door and then it sounded like it sounded the doorknob they were trying to open it yeah and the door's unlocked this is why first we of all the doors. why was that unlocked <laughs> Who went outside last? And I also would like to know, the only two people that got up to go to the door was me and Jared. Because I knew it was just someone at the door. It was either an Amazon, a food delivery, or someone picking something up. But it was such a violent knock. That wasn't just like, it didn't sound like just someone at the door. I apologize you've had an easy life and never had a blue collar job where you have to work and sometimes you don't have the best days. And sometimes you have an aggressive knock because you have a heavy hand. Huh? What job have you had where you've had to go door to door? You're a classist. I'm not a classist. What? You're not classy. That's just rude. They, you know what else is rude? What? Assuming that humans want to murder us in every aspect of our life. There was a gentleman who was just doing his job, and I knew that. I could sense the aroma in there, and instead, you wanted to stab him with a knife. <laughs> I assume kill him forever, and you wanted to watch. Well, no, it, it's not... It's not like that. It was just it was just an aggressive knock, and, uh, you know... It was unexpected. Yeah. You can't fault us for that. I've already have, and I do not rescind. I would like to hit some intro music, unless you guys would like to talk more about the knocking. Okay? <laughs> Noted. We're all good on the knocking. Yeah. Everyone's cleared up. I'll knock you up. That's right. It's the extra special Thanksgiving Patreon, where we are giving you a drunk episode like this. Oh, I'm Jewish. <laughs> I'm also part Jewish. Shut up! <laughs> Small is the biggest erect. What was the biggest? Eight, Eight inches. inches. Uh, 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 I've taken like 14. <laughs> <laughs> You think, you think that's eight, eight inches? inches? Wait, no. You're gonna be pretty you disappointed if I ever get pants at a local pool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's eight that's inches. That's eight inches. Imagine taking that. You're feeling that shit in your guts. <laughs> this is our favorite friend that's been hogtied and kidnapped. Oh, we're getting right into it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey, Zach, how about a little lube first before you just fucking ram that down our throat? What's up, man? When are you going to start your OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> you look like a psychopath. You're crying wearing <laughs> medieval times. You have one shoe off. <laughs> And you're drinking. You do not want to miss out. We just did our huge giveaway. We gave away an Xbox. What else did we give away? AirPods. AirPods. A Switch. A Nintendo Switch. Uh, a bunch of stuff. Merch and uh, Amazon gift cards. Um, it is a really beautiful community. If you're not in it, you're missing out on possible job opportunities because people in our community help each other. You're missing out on, um, honestly, a jovial time. You're missing out on ad-free stuff, extra episodes. Um, you're also missing out on the giveaway we just said. And we're doing another huge Thanksgiving giveaway. Away. So all you have to do is DM us on what prizes you want. Uh, actually, let's go on Patreon and be like, "What prizes do you guys want this month?" And we'll find out what they want. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they're sick of Xboxes yet, or give them out like they're yeah. candy, brother. I don't think people are sick of Xboxes. Um, I think they are obsessed with the idea of getting an Xbox. You must be sick of your ex's box because you broke up with her. Oh my you god! You want to get into it? Uh, no, I don't. And let's just move on. Okay, I, wanna... I would love to move on. How's okay. your day been? Uh, it, you know, it's been pretty good. It was. Uh, we just had Nikki's party, birthday party last I night. I have never met her. Who is she? Uh, Nia Chu. Ah. She's been on the podcast twice. twice. Was it good? Did she get views? Both times. She did very well. Good. As a, as a guest and uh, as number puller in her. Yeah, we, we did have a, a party last night. It was an emo night. And Nikki, who dresses similarly to a Hot Topic employee, has a lot of friends that are also hot topic adjacent when it comes to <laughs> their attire. And it was kind of funny. Heath was there and he looks around and he goes, wow, everybody really dressed up. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, 
I think this is just, if you saw them on a random Tuesday, they would look very similar. Yeah, they just came dressed as they are. They're ready know? to go. Yeah. And I, I think I want to get into the emo lifestyle. They seem like a, a tight knit community. Mm -hmm. They're angsty. Everybody, they're on the outside looking in. Um, that's why I wanted to wear black today, just to kind of, you know, stand with my brothers and sisters <laughs> and emo. So you're you're fully adopting the lifestyle. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I've been searching eyeliners. I think I want to go waterless. Yeah, uh, in case you cry. Yeah, in case I cry, because I've been like real. Yeah, because you know Zach, he's so emotional. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Actually, means a lot. A lot of people think I'm emotionless, but you saying that. Actually, well, Zach, uh, I'm sorry, sorry to say this. That was sarcasm. Never um, heard of it. What does that mean? Oh, you've never heard of sarcasm? No. No? I could have sworn you were the king of sarcasm. No, I'm the king of orgasm. Okay. That's a rhyme. <laughs> Dude, Alyssa's <laughs> face. I'm so cutting to you yeah, at let's, that point. Let's, that was let's crazy. Let's cut to Alyssa. She's been moaning all day for no reason. We'll walk in a room <laughs> and I'll just hear, oh, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Moaning. You, you had okay. And she's like, my body hurts. Uh, uh, hear me out, Jared. Have you heard moans? Oh yeah, it's like the ghost of Christmas past in here. <laughs> or Mia Khalifa. <laughs> but I was gonna say, um, do you think it's she's it's an attraction towards us, or do you think what do you think it is? <sighs> no. Ever I, since it, I've gotten into this emo lifestyle, that's the only time I've heard the moanings. And oh, she does have a, a crush point. on someone who is emo. That's a good point. So I think I think the aura of emo is in the air, uh, and it's just kind of like she's just it's really, vocalizing her loins. Ex exactly. It's, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, those lips are talking. <laughs> so you're horned up. <laughs> oh, my God. That was. I said, "Are you horned up?" And then I didn't really hear what you said. And even in my head, I was like, "I shouldn't have said that." And then I heard. I should. <laughs> and then I heard those lips be talking. Is that what you went with? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. And vulgar and that's an employee <laughs> but tell me that's not a joke you even in your head were like i shouldn't have said that because that's a joke that you would have made no 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 i said i shouldn't have said what i said and then oh you're horned up yeah i was like oh we can't you say that all the time why is that any different yeah, but not on camera like what? this is traceable <laughs> <laughs> but i didn't think on camera you would tell her that her lips be talking <laughs> I didn't think i would say that either i did i honest to god have no idea where that came from like that felt like S someone must have summoned a demon here last night. It, it, it is kind of crazy how misogynistic you are a little bit. Oh, when, shut the fuck no, up. No, no, just when she's out of the room and uh, and like she'll like tell a story and leave the room and then he'll say, who told Titch she could talk? <laughs> and I, it just feels weird. You put on like in an accent, you're like, who told Titch she could talk? <laughs> and I get, I always am like, I'm very confused, but I let you go with it because I know um, you're kind of very sad for, about your recent breakup. So I know humor is bringing uh, the job back. Uh, okay, so we have a big email party yesterday. Um, Alyssa obviously has the biggest crush on someone that was here. She wants to marry him. I don't want to marry him. You want him to run through you like a train. I was no, trying to be nice. I, All right, and you said no. the thing that I said. Yeah, well, she <laughs> denied me. I, if she's going to turn me into a liar, I'm not going to have it. So we noticed when he was parading around the party, he was only talking to women that had the melons out. Sure. So, I mean, we were debating back and forth. We were having... Uh, a workplace conversation on <laughs> sh should she get the tits? Should she, <laughs> should, should she expose the Mount Rushmore's? Should she open the farmer's market? Yeah. She, should she get those double Wednesdays out? You know, <laughs> um, what, what, what is your, well, I would say in a strictly professional sense, of course, of course, this is all totally professional, professional guys. Um, you know, get the tits out. So, <laughs> Sorry. It's different it's when it. he <laughs> says it. It's different when he says but, it. it. Feels well, predatory when he says it. <laughs> Feels a little weird when he says it. I don't like that like Sesame Street style song you just made about that. Why? Why is it different when I say it? You know what I mean? It's got a vibe of. It's because that's his vibe, but it's not your vibe. So <sighs> I think I, I think it's because people have they understand I have an undertone of kindness and oh, and good shut intention. Shut up. And so they know it's like, oh, that's the reason sometimes his jokes, um, he's allowed to get away with them because we know on the inside he's like really good. And then you primally show your teeth to everybody and they think you're trying to fight them just on a primate level. It's not a primate level. We've evolved past primates, okay? If someone is smiling, we don't think that they're being aggressive anymore. You're scaring me. <laughs> Let's put those things away. Those mouth hooves. Um, Alyssa, how are yeah. you feeling? Uh, tired. You didn't get your tits over. out, huh? No, I didn't. Okay. It's fine. Well, okay. I said, this is not about the tits or whatever, but we were talking at the party and I said that she needs to be more open to like going up and talking to him because besides the girls that 
were showing their their bosoms, you know, um, which we celebrate, which which we celebrate, you know, celebrate your body. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> he's an activist. They they were more forthright and going up and talking to him and like putting themselves out there and like in his space. And I said that that's what she needs to do yeah. because she's just kind of looking from afar. And a wishing. closed mouth doesn't get fed. Very prolific. But he's <laughs> got a point. I mean? Yeah. It's, it's kind of like this podcast. Uh, so we want people to listen and hear it. And what if we just never uploaded it? You see how we would never have the opportunity. It's a good point. Are you, are you taking notes? Are yeah. you, are you nervous? Okay, here's what I think. I think you're nervous about the in initial interaction, but once you get past the high, it's smooth sailing because we're all just humans, mm -hmm. aren't we, Jared? To be fair, like we were having a conversation. Okay, good. And then Wes asked me to go find somebody on the list and I left. What were you guys talking about? I forget. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nailed it. I think it was something to do with the tattoos or like what he had before or I don't know, something. Well, I noticed you were kind of in the corner and you're like, wait, how many tattoos do you have? Well, this one's my favorite. It was really <laughs> cute and sweet. Like you were definitely pulling a move. Um, so how do you, do you think it's dead in the water or you think you're going to get back out there? No, uh, it's probably dead in the water. No, no, And no, then no. Zach comes up and we're with what a did friend. I do? We're with a friend and he starts talking about said person, like the attraction that I have. And you said, love throwing people under the well, bus. Well, he didn't know this, but said, said friend, oh, no. friend is attracted to like, that's like, Oh, she loves him. Oh, and I was like, <laughs> and I knew that. So I was like, there's oh. a reason we have sports and they play for a championship every year. There's a winner and competition just breeds the best out of people. Okay. So. You need to get in there. You need to grab onto that stick shift and get into to, to sixth gear. You know, I guess. Yep. That's, that's a way to phrase it. Listen, I, I women, are allowed to be aggressive these days. We're not in the fifties. Just, Oh, I can't wait for the man to sweep me off my feet. You got to go in there, get what you want. Let's go. You want me to call him right now? Should I FaceTime him on the oh. phone? Okay. Well, just ask. Well, you're not really her. claiming what you want. If you don't take that opportunity. I don't think you would answer. Um, do you guys know the song? If you like pina coladas yeah. and getting caught in the rain. Can you pull up the lyrics to that? Because they're devastating. Dude, Zach showed me. So this is all based off of like a TikTok you saw. There was one TikTok of a gentleman who sings like an angel, like the tears of an angel. Oh God, it is just, it, it is moving. It's whimsical. It's like a whisper of a magical forest. The way that this guy, it just penetrates my ears. You like pain, you can learn Getting caught in the rain. Because they're way deeper. Because when you're thinking of that song, you're thinking about getting drunk and getting groovy. Yeah, and it, it's just got that like up tempo kind of like na, 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 na. tropical vibe, you know? Oh, okay. This look how beautiful this is. This is a song. If you like pe I like pe Okay. So I walked with high hopes and she walked in the place. I knew her smile in an instant. I knew the curve of her face. It was my own lovely lady. And she said, Oh, it's you. And then we laughed for a moment and I said, I never knew that you like pina and coladas. Did you say pina and you coladas? Say How do you say it? Pina coladas? Okay. <laughs> Dude, that was that the whitest like, thing you've ever done. That you like pina and coladas <laughs> and getting caught in the rain and the feel of the ocean and the taste of champagne. If you like making love at midnight in the dunes of the Cape, you're the lady I've looked for. Come with me and escape. Oh, it's beautiful. Wait, hold on. Go, go up to the, the first. Can we just verse. relish in poetry no, no, for a moment? No, I'm saying, listen, listen to this. Like I was tired of my lady. We'd been together too long, like a worn out recording of a favorite song. Like the imagery of that, of like a warped vinyl record being, because it's been played so much that it's just not the same as what it once was. It's just, it's just powerful. It's very sad. Like when you read the lyrics to the song, it is so scat, so sad. Oh, um, I was thinking of sad lyrics the other day. Well, no, I heard the song by Louis Capaldi. What, what's it called? Um, like Someone you famous. loved. Oh my gosh. And the one lyric, you know, I've always listened to the song, but just listening to him say, I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. God, that'll get you, man. Uh, it's just, it brings a tear to your eye. It's, it's songs like that or lyrics like that where it's like when people say, oh, the music hit me, like it feels like you feel a pressure in your chest. You're sitting in, I mean, and just pray you don't hear that lyric at night. 
you're sitting in bed and you're just going through the Rolodex of past failed romantic encounters. And boy, oh boy, does it sting. No, the, 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 my favorite thing that I think everyone does is sometimes we'll be really, really sad in a breakup or, you know, maybe we lost a job or anything relationship wise, we'll be just very sad. And we want to, you know, amplify our sadness with music. Mm-hmm. And you, it's kind of funny how we all put off our sadness until we find the right song. Like, you, it's like, I don't want to cry unless, unless this thing's thing. It, you know what I mean? <laughs> unless Louis Capaldi is just, Louis Capaldi is just absolutely getting after it in my ear. And then you're like, I was getting kind of used to being someone you love. Have you ever, okay, the ultimate thing, it, uh, if you're being sad and crying, is you listen to a sad song and then go in the bathroom and look at yourself in the mirror crying. <laughs> what the fuck? You don't do that? No, that's have you done that? I've cried in the mirror, yeah. Dude, what? but it's 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 like because you get to, yeah, you're like using a couple more senses. What in the American psycho are you guys doing when you guys are alone? It's not American psycho, it's just like you're sad, you're listening to music, you're seeing yourself and you're you're, you know, you're recognizing your own emotions. I also read a lot of actors do that. Like they look in the mirror and like cry. So they know how they would look on camera. Okay. But that makes sense because that's their job, you know, like artists. So what can we say? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) We're artists. Um, Can you type in, what does it mean if you look at yourself in the mirror and cry? (laughs) I want to see if there's anything. Yeah. There's gotta be some sort of like psychological case study. You've never done that. No. So therapeutic. If I am crying, I don't, want to a see myself see anybody like i want to be you don't see anybody that you're seeing you you're no i i said i I don't want to see myself like i want to be in my bed under the sheets under the sheets you can't even breathe no like i just want to be cocooned in like a dark space Mm. if i'm crying okay it says perhaps because of a sense of reflecting on one's own situation and self-pity subconsciously wanting to mull over self-pity subconsciously wanting to mull over how pitiful (laughs) one has become okay so So this is the saddest shit in the world almost wanting to tell one's ego look at you oh okay so there's something so it's more me calling out calling myself out like look at you little punk yeah little crybaby punk little wuss look at you having emotions you little wuss with a p that's a, yeah a wasp. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I didn't want to say. I knew what you were talking. I didn't want to no, say the didn't. word. No, I did. What? What, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to say it. Okay. Thank goodness. I gotta get a good cry in soon. I feel like I had one. You're due for one. I don't know. I don't know if I'm sad enough. I gotta what? get sad. When was the last cry? Was it Punta Cana? I don't think I cried in Punta Cana. What? Yeah. You had the whole thing with like going to the beach to watch the sunrise and yeah, I don't think I cried. There's no way you didn't shed a single tear. I mean, it's not, I'm sure I probably wanted to, but you know, I don't think I did. When's the last time you let out the waterworks? There was a point where I was, I was close when we were in Monte Carlo. Sorry. It's my uncle. Hold on. Cool. Thanks. Just (laughs) opening up about my pain. And you said what you were cried at Monte Carlo. I was close. Why? Uh, I was just like, I just had some stuff going through my head. Like what? And, uh, I don't want to get into it. Why? It's it's this is a very vulnerable podcast. And I feel like you expressing your thoughts and feelings will help someone else. Like the reason I don't want to get into it is because it's one of those things where uh like you know the saying it's like remember remember when you used to like pray for what you have now and it's like we live such an amazing life now and we're Are you like, quoting Meek Mill? What? I used to pray for times like this, to shine like this, to grind like this in the back of the... <laughs> I was not quoting Meek Mill. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. I think you're quoting Meek Mill. I don't think I was quoting Meek Mill. <laughs> but you know the song. Yeah, I know the song. Yeah, you're quoting Meek Mill. I'm but not go ahead. quoting Meek Mill. There's... Wait, so you're praying for times like this, but now that you're in the place that you prayed for, you feel like you're not satisfied. It, I kind of talked to you about it while we were over there. I said that like... Other people get to uh, enjoy their lives off the the brunt of my work more than I get to enjoy my own, right? Like, I just feel like I- Targeted as hell, no? No, 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 no. (laughs) I just feel like I don't get to live as much of my life as I would like to. And then when you told me that, what did I do? You you immediately started offering solutions, but it's like- it, it's that kind of mentality where it's like, do you find when these negative emotions come up, you kind of, 
I think I have a bad, like maybe I should do a better job of sitting in the moment with myself and others and under and like be like, okay, and respecting that emotion where I immediately go into fix it mode. It's like, all right, we can fix this. I think you could definitely sit with the person and marinate in their emotions and listen more. Okay. You know, I feel like that's a qualm that a lot of, uh, specifically like girls in relationships with guys have oh, yeah, with, I got with, trouble all the time with their partners is like the girl, if they want to like vent about their day or whatever situation is happening, you know, they just want somebody to match that emotion and vent with them or just listen. And, guys have a tendency to go into fix it mode because we just want everything to be okay, but that's not what the partner is usually looking for. And you definitely have that tendency both in relationships and like with your friends. And so I think on like an emotional intelligence level, I I'm think I'm, I'm not really giving you what you need. Well, no, no, it's not that you're like, I need solutions. You know, I don't need to sit and vent and marinate in my emotions anymore. Fine. I'll help you. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I have tried. But yeah, so it's it's just like it's stuff like that where it's like I hate not it's not even complaining. It's just like like we do. We live such like a blessed life. And uh I hate even like finding the negative in it. If you want me to quit the podcast, I will. I that's not what I want. That's not at all what I was saying. Do you want Alyssa to come over here and I'll go over there? Why would that fix anything? How would that <laughs> fix anything? I just, maybe since you grew up with women, having a female presence as close to you would. Uh, well, she is close. We're in the same room. I'm looking close. right at her. Yeah. Do you want her here? Should I get rid of her? I, again, I can fire anybody her. leaving the podcast or switching positions is not the solution I'm looking for. Okay, what is the solution you are working for? I just need better work-life balance. And it's hard when our work is kind of our life, you yeah. know? So yeah, it's, it's just about managing that, just figuring out how to work through that. So you feel like you're in a better place mentally. I feel like I, I'm on the right track to like getting to that balance that I need. And since we all did share a room, the three of us, where were you going to cry? <laughs> I wish I wish I could have gone and see, seen that Japanese garden that was out there. That seems like the place to cry. It seemed like a very joyful place of whimsical jolly when I was in there. But yeah, I guess if you want to add some tears to the yeah, but the positivity. Who are you with when you were in there? Um, a friend. Uh huh. A lover. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it was actually a beautiful Japanese garden. Uh, you guys probably don't know anything we're talking about, but we were in Monaco recently, and there was a Japanese garden, and we all frequented it except for Jared because uh, some about he wanted. Hiroshima too. I don't know oh, what he said. Oh, Alyssa wasn't paying attention anymore. Hello. Hi. How has your birthday been? So good. Thank goodness. Sorry, you got to check in with her sometimes. You don't have to say anything that makes sense. <laughs> she just likes to feel like she's kind of part of it. She's included. Yeah, yeah. I use conversation with her kind of like giving uh, your dead controller to your little brother <laughs> and just letting him play. So like, I'll just watch this. Just throw anything. The cat went over there, right? Mm -hmm. See? And she's <laughs> that like- That is all our conversation. And then she's like, wow, that is so sweet. The cat did, and she doesn't know what's going on, but she loves to be a part of it. Try it out. Say anything. The moon was full. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it was. It was Gosh, she, look how happy she God, is now. She's smiling. I've never seen her. Like, yeah, yeah. Never seen me smile. It's crazy. No, and if you go to a fair and win a fish, that's a good day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> good day. Yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? You know what makes you feel better, Jared? Being hydrated. A lot of people chalk it up to a lot of other things, but a lot of times you're just dehydrated. And you might think, oh, let me pop a sports drink. That'll give me my electrolytes. You know what has three times electrolytes? Liquid IV. Ever tried it? I have. Ever I've felt got, good after it? I feel amazing. I've got a, a cup of it right here. I'm exactly. Drinking sugar free grape. So imagine drinking a cup of water mm -hmm. and then imagine feeling good, but it's like, I, I definitely want to get more hydrated. What if I said if you put in a little liquid IV into your water, just one of those little packets, you can get twice the hydration for the price of one. It's like killing two birds with one stone, brother. And on top of all the electrolytes, it contains eight vitamins and nutrients. But how much sugar, Jared? Well, actually, Zach, they replaced- How much sugar? They replaced the sugar with a proprietary amino acid allulose You can just blend. say zero. It's way easier on the ears, huh? I know, but this sounds scientific you and fancy. You know what else sounds scientific? scientific? <laughs> I love the flavor green grape. I think it's the best flavor they've ever produced. You mean this flavor? Oh my gosh, there it is. The sugar-free green grape? It gets me going like no woman could ever. It's tart and refreshing. It's beautiful and 
refreshing as well. <laughs> Double refreshing. Wait, if I wanted to get some of this, how would I? Well, you can get your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can go to liquidiv.com and get 20% off when you use code DROPOUTS at what, checkout. 20% off is such a great product? You're basically getting it for a steal. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And it's just for our customers when they use code DROPOUTS at liquidiv.com. Wow. I love Liquid IV. What about you? I'm a fan fanatic for it. Fa -fa 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 fanatic. Thank you, Liquid IV. Lock in with me. Look me in the eyes. There is not another ad that you're going to hear that is going to benefit you as much as Rocket Money. How many times do you put money into a service and get money out? I assume not often. It almost guarantees you're going to get some coin back, and this is how it does it. We live in a subscription world, Jared. Do you know how many subscriptions you have? I don't, but Probably it's a, a lot. lot more than you think you have, and this is what Rocket Money does. It calculates them and asks you, do you still use this? And uh, a lot of the times, you'll notice that you you don't use that subscription anymore. You have no use for it. It was three years ago and you've been paying this whole time. You know what you're going to do? Unsubscribe and you save so much money. Jared, I know it's on the screen, but I also want to tell you how much money on average someone saves a year by using Rocket Money. Are you ready for the information? I'm ready. With over 5 million customers, on average, each person a year saves $720. Do you know what you could do with $720? A lot. That pretty much sums it up. <laughs> exactly. A lot. Imagine putting money into anything and having more of it. Imagine somebody just handing you $720 right now. You know what I would do? What would you do? Smile whimsically. Because you feel so good about because I love you. $720. I love money. And also, the other thing I really like about it is it tracks your spending. So one month, it could be like, hey, you spent this amount of money less than you did last month. Good job. And it also categorizes your spending. Hey, you spent this much on eating out. Maybe like reel it in a little bit. I've noticed I've personally saved a lot of money just by getting those little reminders. And I think you can too. And I think you can too. So if we weren't clear already, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Stop wasting money on things you do not use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. That's rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Rocketmoney.com slash dropouts. Thank you, Rocket Money. Do you like watching football? You like when the boys run and get those touchdowns? You know what's even better than when the boys run and get those touchdowns? When the boys run and get those touchdowns, you get to watch it and you get to make money while it's also happening. Huh? With prize picks, you can make money by watching your favorite sports games. Jared, tell them some more. Prize picks is the most fun I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season. And now I can play during basketball season too. All you have to do is select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and then place your entry. This week on prize picks, I'm selecting Stephen Curry for more than 29 points and Nikola Jokic for more than 10 rebounds. What are you picking? I'm actually doing football. So I chose Joe Burrow for more than two passing touchdowns and Travis Kelsey for more than 75 receiving yards. I'll take that pick. And Prize Picks even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Go to prizepicks.com slash dropouts and use code dropouts for your first deposit match of up to $100. So imagine you put $100 in something and you just get a free hundred back. Doesn't that sound nice? That sounds amazing. Doesn't that sound beautiful? Well, if prizepicks.com slash dropouts, you can get that exact same offer, huh? Read that for me again. Re read it. Read it. Read the screen so they know where to go. Go to prizepicks.com slash dropouts and use code dropouts for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars dude i feel like we're at a psych ward <laughs> like <laughs> talking you. to each other i holistically believe that one day you're gonna blink and wait and and when you open your eyes you'll be in just a, a white room chained to yourself and none of us will be here and then you're just like welcome to dropouts podcast welcome to dropouts podcast <laughs> and then and then I'm just the doctor that's been taking. We don't know why he does it. He talks to himself. He has a whole podcast. And then she's the janitor. And and then, but you're the only two people you ever see is us because, you know, I study you and I talk to you. I deliver you food. And then you look at the window and you see her cleaning and you've created this entire life. Have you seen? That sounds like the Leonardo DiCaprio movie. Shutter Island. Yeah. It I've also actually never seen Shutter Island. Have you ever seen Community? Have you ever seen The Father? <laughs> I <laughs> Have you ever seen? <laughs> um, no. Have you ever seen Community? No. Oh, okay. They also have a bit about that because it all takes place in a community college, but 
it's just there are too many shenanigans going on. And then one day it's all they wake up and they're all in like a psych ward together. Does it ever make you want to bash your own skull against uh, granite? Just the the very sharpest granite uh, countertop that you that none of us have had original thoughts. <laughs> Doesn't that just make you hurt on the inside? A little bit, yeah. But it, there's, what, 8 billion people in the world? It's like, it, it's all about who can get out their unoriginal idea out first. Uh, Skylar want me to bring something up and ask you. Oh, God. Can you see on average how many spiders crawl into our mouth at night? That No, that was disproven. Somebody made that up. Who disproved it? They watched all the spiders? They, it just spiders don't crawl in your mouth. Why would they not? They love moist, dark areas. But they're not similar to me. <laughs> Gross. I'll shoot this web in you, honey. If that was if I was Spider Man and I was with um, Mary was Jane. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not. I don't. Are you a Mary wanna. Jane guy or a Gwen Stacy? I don't do drugs. It says eight spiders a year. Eight spiders a year. But that's just. It's not true. I'm yes, sure it is. It is. I, Google's it, like, never been wrong. I'm sure it varies. That's why they created it. Oh, and Skylar want me to bring up. He said. Jared's got to be like triple that <laughs> just based on how much your mouth is open when you sleep. And I don't know if you want to bring it up with him, but he did want me to bring it up. Reaction. Yes, I, I understand my sleeping is a problem and I will look into getting the procedure done for my nose. When do you think you'll do that? Next life? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll do it soon. I just got to find somebody in the network with ZocDoc. Hopefully do we have a sponsor. sponsor this week? I don't know, but they're amazing regardless uh did you guys ever sign up for therapy like you promised not yet we've been a little busy been out yeah. of the country you know okay. I working made it to the checkout how long ago while you guys were away and, and it's expensive <laughs> <laughs> well uh we'll pay for your first three months no why 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 would you do that it's got to be like that's consider like, it like employee benefits employee benefits i don't know i was matched with a person oh is he hot? <laughs> it's a girl. I only I want a female. I'd oh. also I'd also want a female psych uh, oh, therapist. I just feel more com I don't know comfortable with female. What is it against? What do you hate about men? How do I phrase this? You hate men in general, right? No. Oh, then never mind. No follow ups. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Let me throw her a bone. The sky still blue. Actually, it's there it not. Is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry. Go ahead. I think it's like I feel like I'm in a third grade like debate read, right now i feel like i read somewhere that it has a bunch of different colors every in it that illuminate blue oh okay when i look at it i just <laughs> I, am i allowed to see blue or i have to be like no clue what this is i don't know if it's right or wrong yeah it's blue awesome i heard that it's blue because it's reflecting the oceans i didn't think we'd stay this long <laughs> <laughs> i gotta be completely honest with all this. but speaking of emo night just like going back to that I have never felt more validated with a group of people. So Alyssa and Mariah and their their new business, Forget, a, forget About It Events, put on like all the decorations and everything. They we also got to change how you spell that, but keep going. We do. Zach and I talked about it, but they, they put on all the decorations. It looked amazing. I'll throw in some pictures. Please don't. But they put me in charge of the music for the night, which first of all, that's a lot of pressure. So it's emo night. And I made, I, I was doing deep cuts. I made a six. Come on, man. With the emo kids here? <laughs> oh, shit. You're trigger them. I, 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 can I rescind that? Nope, it's out there. Okay. They're sorry all going to come in. Sorry about that one. Throw their elbows at you in a mosh pit. I made a six and a half hour long playlist. Okay. So that there would be no repeats in the party. And every single person that came up to me about the music said that it was one of the best playlists that they've ever heard. Maybe that's your scene. I think that's, I think that's my scene. You're a scene kid. I you and, feel seen being in the scene. Exactly. And then just cued like the inception sound right there. No, thank you. Okay. Yeah, no. So that was super validating. And then, uh, I also had a crazy like full circle moment. So there is, there's a guy here who, or girl, dude, 2023. Come on, man. It's a guy. Um, and, uh, he is a lead singer of like one of my favorite bands and i i saw him here i was like holy shit there's no way he's here right now because back in like 2018 when i was in college i was working for or like not working i was part of this club called bearcast media and we went to bunbury which is like an annual music festival in cincinnati and we interviewed him and his band uh because they were playing there and 
I didn't know who he was at the time, like when we interviewed him. And then after the interview, they went on stage and performed and I'd like got hooked on their music ever since then. Right. I've been listening and f- like following their band uh, throughout the years. And then he all of a sudden is just in our house. It was a crazy invited. No, I'm pretty sure he was invited, oh. but it was just like the craziest full circle moment. And then like, I, I was able to talk to him and like tell him the story. And he was, he was like, dude, that's insane. Like it. And you know, we we're talking about music and everything. And uh, um, I'm going to try to undermine that. See if it'll work with me and not you. Okay. Why would you do that? I'm a bad guy, <laughs> you know? All right. Billy. Billy yeah. Yep. Uh, Alyssa Pillsbury ice cream. Do they have any? You just no. Can you just <laughs> talk to her I like am. a human being? I am. He texted me. I felt like I was like just. What, he texted me once. He goes, "How's party?" <laughs> Not even adding the. How's the party? <laughs> like bottom of the barrel. Like just how party? Wait, did Good. he did he add a question mark at the no. end? <laughs> Dude. House party. What? Just don't even bother. <laughs> <laughs> like what? You guys read so much into thing into things. How about instead of it's like, oh, that's really nice. You want to know how the party's going. <laughs> <laughs> instead, instead, oh, you didn't put the he must want to murder me. And then <laughs> he must hate me. Instead of like, oh, that's really sweet. He wants to know like how the party's going. How about we let's start looking at the positive of life? I didn't have to ask about the party at all. You might as that text just felt like <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have not. This is why I can't stand certain humans that aren't men. <laughs> okay. Well, not all of them, specifically old Bing Bong over there. Anybody would have been annoyed with that. I, no, actually they wouldn't. That's the wildest part. <laughs> I'm just saying house party, you know, to be fair, I would have just answered that with good, you know, yeah, like that's all, oh, I was looking for, <laughs> I was just trying to be nice. Hey, hey how's the party? And of course, she's over there. Oh my goodness! If he doesn't put th, I don't think he even cares about me. I, I just <laughs> thought it was the wildest thing. Well, and you know what else? You were you didn't leave the house the two weeks we were gone, so you're just sitting here in a mental health cesspool, and you're and then you're just over analyzing anything and just beating your head against the wall, <laughs> and then you're just like, oh, well, they're not even checking in on me, and then when we finally do, well, where's the I don't understand why they don't like me. I said, I'm never seeing sunlight again. Oh, I'm going to watch a Marvel movie for this eighth time today. Where's the va? <laughs> oh, you can't make them happy if they're not happy themselves. They're looking for any way to be sad. Over to you, Lewis. <sighs> that might be one of your like f- funniest tirades. Um, do you want to talk about why she didn't leave the house? Yeah. Okay, so didn't. There's no reason. did you have like friends come over besides the one night that you did go out to like a party or something or you were just no. Okay. Um, why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but like you didn't think to just like go out and like because you hate being here alone. And so you, that's all you did. <laughs> do you think that sometimes um, I don't mean this to come off with bad intentions at all. This is just a genuine question. Do you think sometimes your sadness is a little self-serving or it's like, I'm in such a rut. I'm just gonna keep putting myself there where now, and now it's like an endless vicious cycle. Definitely. Cool. Okay. Over to you. So what's up with the taxes? <laughs> no, back to you. I don't, I don't know why I just didn't. There was no reason. I wasn't like moping. Yes, you were. <laughs> no, I was You're a little moper. No. No, um, I'm not a moper. I just get sad and I mope. <laughs> <laughs> but besides that, no mopes. Um, yeah, uh, you should go outside at some you, point in your life. Yeah. Um, is there anything we can do to help you go outside? No, I'm so good. When you say you, did you literally not leave the house? Like, did you go outside at any point? In the backyard with like handsome. But you didn't like go anywhere to like even get food or a coffee no, or something? I- Uber aided. Are you serious? Uber aided. Uber aided. I just did it. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be this big of a deal. Why? <laughs> Why? Maybe that's the biggest deal that you don't think it's a big deal. Okay, so we're thinking we finish the checkout. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we did it like live on air so people know that you're getting the help you deserve? That's so weird. That was in the email. What? The Getting email the help you deserve? Better help people were like, I hope this allows you to get the care you deserve. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at us. Full circle. Wow. Look yeah, at you. You're welcome. You think, anyways. Anyways. So you're going to sit in that checkout for the tab for about a year. <laughs> What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yeah. I want to talk about the fact. Oh, my God. Going back to Monte Carlo, Zach, 
I, I gave you props for helping me when I was, uh, you know, talking to you about what was going on in my head, but also bad friend. He was going to ditch me on the flight home because he wanted a better seat. That is the craziest thing. Is it the craziest thing? Yeah. I know someone who didn't leave a house for two weeks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe not the craziest thing, okay. but what's, I wasn't going to leave you. Can I? Yes, you were. You were on a completely different flight home. We were going to the airport at the same time. And on the original flight, we weren't sitting together. Dude, we were a row apart from each you other. Were we were two seats back. We, we did, were. What do you talk? What does it matter? We couldn't talk to each other anyway. No, but we have to navigate a different country together in the airport. We're, yeah, and we went through the airport security together and everything. No, I'm talking about like the the connection and everything. Like, what if we we had a, a kind of tight connection in Amsterdam on the way home? I heard the Amsterdam airport was crazy. All right, it and they're like, they were like, good luck getting through that. So I was kind of freaked out by that, and I would have had to do that alone as an adult. Yeah, you would have to figure it out. Yeah. I was gonna do it alone too. Yeah, but, you know, that was on your own prerogative. I was being abandoned. So? What do you mean, so? <laughs> if you're traveling with I'm a not somebody, here to coddle you. No, if, I know. If I have but an opportunity always... for a better seat, I was like, okay, I'll grab the better seat. I'm not sitting with him anyway. I'm also, like, not his boyfriend. <laughs> so no, we're I know. good, dog. I, we don't have to sit next to each other. Then why do we have to be on the traveling with a companion? Why do we have to be on the same metal bird? What does it matter? Because we, it's, when you're traveling with somebody... It's nice to like have somebody with to travel for you. Why is it so bad to be with me? I wasn't with you. I was in a different seat in a different row watching a different movie. That doesn't matter. We were on the same path. Like we were going to the. the yes, we were. If I was on a different flight or not. What? If I was on another flight, we'd be going both be going to L.A. We wouldn't when we landed because, okay, on your flight, yes. you're going to London. I'm you're connecting yeah, through yeah, London. Yeah. And I'm an adult and I can navigate that by myself. But it's better. It's not. It is. To Why? travel with somebody. Okay. And I. what if I go, I prefer to travel by myself. Isn't it crazy how I'm the bad guy? What if I have the same amount of venom inside me for wanting to travel alone? Like what? And then I'm and like, say, say I was traveling alone. Like, oh, I got in the same flight as you. And then I would be in the wrong for saying, I want to travel alone. Like you ruined that for me. I think I'm also upset because I don't think you were going to tell me until I did tell you, but I think I, I heard you on the phone trying to get the seat. So yeah, the, cause I didn't have a seat. So I'm not going to tell you if I don't have a seat. I don't think you would have told me at all. We're not having sex. I know we're not, but we're traveling together. We weren't cause I was trying my hardest not to. I lost my travel buddy. I, I almost lost my travel buddy. If your travel buddy doesn't sign up to be your buddy. He's not your travel buddy. <laughs> We happen to be going back to LA. Yeah. And I have my back hurts and you know, I can't sleep on anything. So I was trying to find a better seat so I could at least take a nap for the 16 hours we'd be traveling. But what if, what if I got stranded? What if in I the got Amsterdam stranded? airport? Yeah, but you, you, know you are leaving me. That is your own choice. I would be what, okay. left alone. What if you would have been like, okay, I think you would have figured it out. Yeah, but it would have sucked. I would have been by myself. So you'd rather me be stranded with you than home? Yeah. Okay, no, that's, that's <laughs> awful. <laughs> but we'd be Who in side together? do you want over here? I have no idea. Um, Tell me you wouldn't be ticked if we went to a different country and on the way home or whatever, on the way there, whatever, we just left you. And we're like, we're going to go on this flight. We're all going to the same place. We're just going to leave you. I feel like there's a part of you that would be a little pissed. I'm not leaving you. I you know, wanted a better seat. Zach, we would be in two different countries. Good. So what? That is leaving me. <laughs> you know, I'm not your parent. I'm not your boyfriend. We're travel buddies. Now you know to find a different travel buddy. <laughs> Alyssa will be your travel buddy. Alyssa wasn't on the trip. You know what? Yeah, well, I wasn't. Skylar was your travel buddy. You left him. So I was like, oh, I guess this is what we're doing to each other. I'll leave Jared. At least they're both semi-English speaking countries. Amsterdam oh, we would have been fine. Speaks English. I know we would have been fine. I know English. we would have been fine. I just, I just thought it was wild. We also spent every waking moment together for two weeks. I figured it would be okay if we weren't on the same bird in different rows that we couldn't talk to each other anyway. It doesn't matter the seats, okay? Because on the way there, we didn't sit anywhere near each other, but we still Good. traveled together. I mean, I would also travel separately there. I don't care. 
Never mind. Never mind. He wants me to have sex with him. <laughs> I don't want to have sex with you. It sounds like it, man. You were ball and chain, but I didn't sign up for it. Oh, dropouts advice. Okay, I, I, I got a jingle. Ready? If you're feeling down in the dumps or don't know what to do, come to Dropout's advice and we'll tell you what to do. Or if you're really happy and just want to say something, we're here for you. Dropout's advice at gmail.com. If you want us to answer your advice. So last night I had a party and invited some people over and there was about 12 to 13. It wasn't massive, but it was decent. I was on the aux and was giving my friend my phone so they could do the music. But one of my friends found old messages of me and another girl from five months ago. And now the girl that I'm talking to is really mad and saying that she can't trust me. Am I in the wrong? It was five months ago. Mm -hmm. First of all, why was that friend digging through five month old messages? That's a person you got to cut out. I, I don't know. Like that just seems really deceitful. No, run it back. Okay. So last night I had a party, invited some friends over. It wasn't a big party, um, but I was on the ox and I was giving my friends my phone so that they could play music. But one of my friends found old messages of me and another girl from five months ago. And now it says the girl's name, but it just, uh, the girl I'm talking to is really mad at me and saying that she can't trust me. Am I in the wrong? No. Sometimes you just talk crap about people. Like you just got to vent a little bit. Like doesn't mean you have like malice intent. I mean, how many times do we vent about Alyssa? She's the worst. I wish we could fire her, but we can't. You know what I mean? Wait, was and, this about <laughs> venting or was this? No, no. Like the, the friend went through the phone and I assume she went to the text and searched her name, Maybe. which is like really weird. And then saw the text about, I assume she was talking bad about the friend. Him and another girl like talking. Yeah. I thought it was like, she found messages from when he was talking to a different girl. Oh, they're dating. I thought this was a girl on girl thing. No, no, no. No, oh, no okay. I, it's a, I think it's a dude. The, whoever was going through their phone found messages from like a previous girl. It sounds like the girl, yeah, had suspicions of this girl. And then five months ago, she's like, oh, I knew they were like, probably like, talking or something. And then looked it up and found out they were talking, but it was five months ago. I guess it depends on if he was saying... Oh no! Yeah, we never had anything like that, and she's yeah. just very suspicious. But again, it like also five months ago. I don't know. It also depends, I guess, if they were in a relationship. If they were in, in like when he started talking to the girl that he's talking to now, because like, let's say they started talking and there was like overlap, then I could see why she would be mad and feel like there that trust is kind of gone. But a five month talking stage is extremely long and just not very plausible. Yeah, I don't know if we know enough of this information. Uh, let's just assume if they were in a relationship and he was talking to somebody else five months ago the way that we think he was, yeah, I mean, that's not good. And then if it was like maybe he's talking to two girls at the same time but nothing was exclusive, that's just what happens. You're trying to figure out who you like, who you don't like. And then it sounds like they chose you, so that's positive. Um, and then if it's just maybe them being petty and going through your stuff with and it's as none of their business, that's probably a little bit of a red flag. And maybe you don't want someone that is looking for a problem. I would say like, just based on the details we are given, I would say he's not in the wrong, but I feel like there's, we don't have enough information, but let's go to the next one. Give me one. another one. Okay. I'm 23 and I'm kind of in a weird spot. Hot. <laughs> I'm doing a master's in machine learning and AI, but I don't do it with my heart. I'm not sure if this is what I want to do with my life, but I've always been good at math and coding. Um, but when I look at people who do it with passion, I feel like I'm doing an injustice to myself. Switching to anything would be really tough since I'm an immigrant in, in the States and not that strongly financially, not that strong financially, but that's all fine if I had the confidence to say, I want to do this with my life, but I can't figure it out. And my master's is demanding. So I can't just spend a good amount of time doing something else, um, that could lead to something substantial. I feel like I've been navigating through life based on I'm good at this. Let's explore this a bit more. And as a result, haven't explored my options. Would love hearing from you guys for any advice. Um, I was very similar. You know, I was I was good at school. I was supposed to, you know, go to a, a nice college and then do the whole education thing, higher education, get a good job, blah, blah, blah. And I just really wasn't passionate about it in the same way that you seem like you're not passionate about it. So I think, you know, life's too short to not take, take those calculated risks. And to do that, I think you need to calculate uh, exactly how much you need to live on and like the bare minimum. And it's like, how long are you willing to eat crap for and not, you know, live a lavish lifestyle? If, if you're able to, you know, scrub by for a while, find your minimum, 
find something that makes that minimum amount of money. And uh, in every other aspect, you've got to just be working on your passions. Like you're an insane mad person who, you know, is going to get this done no matter what. And, you know, say, say you want a safer angle. Okay. You're good at the AI stuff. That sounds like it's going to pay well. Um, you've got a long life. So finish that out and then have that as your normal job while you're saving up money. And, um, it's going to be, you know, a lot of sleepless nights and, and long hours, but you just got to work on the passions in, in the time you have. And eventually, hopefully you'll have enough money to meet that minimum where you can have yourself a little cushion and go all in. But life's too short to, to live for other people or do anything you're not passionate about. So, I mean, take the risk. We're all going to die. Well, next. Yes. I, well, <laughs> I mean, that's a morbid way of next. No, well, hold on. Let me say what I want to say. Okay, go ahead. Next. Shut up. Shut up. I also think people have this misconception of like whatever they go to college for is what they have to do with the rest of their lives. You know, like um, the the guys that do the Reclip app, right? Um, he has like a degree in physics or something, but now he is the owner of a social media app. Like you just, you, just because you go to school for something doesn't mean you're locked into that for life. Just going off what Zach said, like find your bare minimum and then- You're my bare minimum. Okay. Don't give me a thumbs up. Don't give me a thumbs down. Don't give me a thumb. All right. Next. <laughs> me and this girl Hot. are not allowed to date till 17. Okay. We are both. <laughs> Do you want to take that back? <laughs> Never mind. Depending on the state. Um, not any better. Okay. Joking. We really like each other. I've known each other for a while, um, but she can't message till 17. Um, we only see each other at at church. So I guess what I'm asking is, should I say something to her parents? I'm friends with her dad, but her mom is a strict one. And I don't know how to introduce myself. Ah, there's too much going on. I would say no. I would say just, just write it out. Just write it out. And talk to other people too. There's a lot of humans that have forms of communication. Just like you seem very young. Um, seem they said their age. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I would say just enjoy your life being a kid. Don't put too much i feel like everybody puts too much pressure on relationships and you know getting into that and like especially too young too fast like what are you doing I'm taking a picture of you you look cute go ahead yeah just don't bother especially don't go talk to the parents that's just a recipe for disaster excuse me sir i noticed that you're a lover of the lord and you won't let your daughter communicate digitally but i was hoping she could get a cell phone <laughs> so i would love her to send a picture of my penis you know how many people when I was younger, because obviously lived in the Bible Belt, lost their virginities at the church? At the church? Oh, so many. What? So many. Because I mean, people would be there, they'd have like yeah, youth nights and yeah, people would just go there and holes and holes. That's human nature, baby. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching the Dropouts podcast. Remember, if you're not a patron member, you're missing out on the best part of this podcast, including the drunk episodes, including the extra episodes. You get 20 minutes of extra footage. You get a live Q&A. You get, you get the prizes. You get everything. So sign up for the Thanksgiving giveaway special, wonderful, blah, blah, blah. Patreon, it's the first comment. Uh, it's pinned or it's linked in the description. And also, if you stayed, please comment Please comment. I don't like the way you're pointing at me. Please comment the best movie you've seen this year and the worst movie you've seen this year. I actually find this very interesting. Give a little synopsis if you can. And you might think, Zach, oh, you're just doing this to get more comments and get the video to do better. Okay, why can't it be mutually beneficial for both of us? Yes, we can get more comments to help out with the video. But also, I want to know about those movies. <laughs> okay? You understand, Jared? I do understand. I'm nope. coming after No, you're not. I'm going to get you. No, you're not. <laughs> um, all right. Tits McGee, little wiener boy, the cool guy. We're out. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Jesus Christ, Zach. <laughs> A, that was accurate. And B, that was so hard. <laughs>